Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to a Cinema 4D tutorial. And today I will be showing you how to create some cool spline effects with the Cinema 4D's tracer object. So here we have a star shape uh, just animated moving along and rotating slightly. And where all those points are, I have added some um, tails using the tracer object. So let's take a look at how this works. So if I uh, remove everything and start off with a star, I am going to insert a keyframe at the starting frame, halfway through, and one at the end. Let me get the one at the end and just move it uh, roughly about here. And then the starting one, maybe up here somewhere, and back and then rotate it slightly to the left and then the last keyframe will rotate this one to the right. So we have a very simple animation of the star just uh, going down that path and then rotating at the same time. So with that let's go to MoGraph Tracer and in the Tracer Objects Attributes you're gonna see something called a trace link. Now it seems it's already put in my star for me because I did the exact same thing before. Or rather, because I was selecting the star when I inserted this uh, tracer object, it automatically put my star in the trace link section here. So when I hit play, you're gonna see where the star has points. Uh, the tracer object is now tracing those and drawing another spline. Now I can combine this with the, the normal Sweep NURBS tool and a circle. Let's give it a radius of 10 and then drop the tracer and the circle into the Sweep NURBS. And just like that, I can get those tails to be drawn and it looks kind of cool. You can thin out the ends by going to the Sweep NURBS and going to the Details section here. Under Scale, you just want to lower this one down. If you hold Control and click, you add in another point and we can push this one up like this. And now we have some uh, tails which start off thin and end up thicker at the end. And that is how you use the tracer object. It's up to you now to go and make some awesome stuff with this. I'll see you in the next video.